Hello IP students. Today our topic is computer networking and this is computer network networking part 1. So what is computer network? A computer network is a collection of interconnected computers. So computer network is a collection of interconnected computers and other devices which are able to communicate with each other and share hardware and software resources. So that is the purpose of uh, computer networking that we want if we want to share hardware or software resources we, we use generally computer network or uh, second definition is that the com collection of interconnected computers is called also called as computer networking so not network so basically computer uh, network is a collection of interconnected computers and third important point regarding to this is two computers are said to be interconnected if they are capable of sharing and exchanging information and uh, when we say that two computers are interconnected it means they are capable of sharing and exchanging information so this is the definition of uh, computer network so uh, there are three important points regarding to computer network first is a computer network is a collection of interconnected computers and uh, when we say that interconnected computers it means that two computers are capable of sharing and exchanging information and the collection of interconnected computers is called as computer network so this is an example of computer network this is a server different types of different there are three different computers connected to this server and a printer is also connected to the server so three computers and a server is connected to uh, three computers and a printer is connected uh, are connected to a server so that is an example of computer network now let us see your definition again here the definition says that the computer network is a collection of interconnected computers and other devices which are able to communicate with each other and share hardware and software resources so the main purpose of computer network is to share hardware and software resources so there is a single single printer here in this diagram and if you want to share this printer among these three computers then uh, we can use computer network and uh, uses of networking why we use networking first of all resource sharing because if we have a limited amount of resource for example in this case uh, in previous case uh, there is only a single printer and if you want to connect it uh, each and every computer then it is very difficult task so we actually share this single printer to each and every computer and uh, this is possible using computer networking so this is called as resource sharing so resource sharing means to make all programs data and peripherals peripheral means input and output devices and storage devices are also called as peripherals available to any one on the network irrespective of the physical location of the resources and the user second is reliability reliability means to keep a copy of a file on two or more different machines so if one of them is unavailable due to some hardware crash or any other then it other copy can be used so second uh, point is reliability using computer network we can share our data from one computer to another and in if any case any computer or hardware crash then uh, we actually save our data and third is cost factor so third important point is cost factor cost factor means it greatly reduce the cost since the resources can be shared since the resources can be shared so uh, it basically reduce the cost for example if we want to share a printer among 20 computers using a networking then uh, we don't required each and every we don't require different computer uh, different printers for different computers and last point regarding to this using uh, uses of networking is communication medium communication of medium means one can send messages and whatever the changes at one end are done can be immediately noticed at another so that is another important point 
वन कैन सेंड मैसेज एंड वट एवर द चेंज एट वन एंड आर डन कैन बी इमीडिएटली नोटिस एट एन एंड दैट इज द लास्ट पॉइंट रिगार्डिंग टू यूज ऑफ नेटवर्किंग सो देर आर फोर बेसिक यूज ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिसोर्स शेयरिंग सेकेंड इज रिलायबिलिटी थर्ड इज कॉस्ट फैक्टर एंड फोर्थ इज कम्युनिकेशन मीडिया नेक्स्ट इज एडवांटेज ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क वाई वी यूज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क बिकॉज ऑफ रिसोर्स शेयरिंग यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर अ रिसोर्स इन द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल एज वी एज आई टोल यू दैट वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर अ प्रिंटर एमंग डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर्स दैन इट इज पॉसिबल ऑनली ड्यू टू अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क and uh, second of course cost saving it reduces the cost because uh, resource are sharing third is collaborative user interaction different users are interacted to each other using computer network so this is an other, another advantage of computer network time saving it saves our time because different com- uh, users are connected to each other so basically it share our time and increase storage storage capability is are also increased because uh, data can be shared from one computer to another and uh, basically this increase the storage capability of a computer network these are the some advantage regarding to the computer network next is evolution of networking in 1969 the first network come into existence that is called arpanet arpanet is also called as advanced research project agency network this is a very important point and uh, may be asked in your examination what is the full form of arpanet a r p a n e t advanced research project agency network and in mid 80s n s f n e t national science foundation network and in 1990 the inter networking of arpanet nsfnet and other private network resulted into internet so the basic role play by, uh, play uh, by arpanet in internet and combination of arpanet nsfnet and other private network resulted into an internet so what is internet internet actually is a collection of different types of networks so we can also said that it is a network of networks it is a network of networks and the foundation its foundation is given by arpanet a r p a n e t in 1969 full form is advanced research project agency network this is a diagram which tells the story about internet evolution of networking so as we know that in 1969 first network come into existence arpanet is a first network and its full form is advanced research project agency network in mid 80s nf nsfnet national science foundation network and in 1990 the net internet working of arpanet nsfnet and other private network resulted into internet so this is the evolution of network now there are some important point regarding to the computer network first of all what is internet internet is the network of networks because uh, as i told you that uh, different in, um networks are a part a part of internet this is arpanet nsfnet so internet is a network of networks this is the smallest definition of internet second is interspace what is interspace interspace is a client server software program so it is a client server software program that allows multiple users to communicate online with real time audio video and text chat in dynamic 3d environment so first of all interspace is a client server software program second point it allows multiple users so multiple users communicate using interspace uh, and uh, multiple users communicate online with real time audio video and text chat in 3d environment three dimensional environment so this is called the interspace so definition is can be divided into two parts first of all it is a client server software program second is it allows multiple users to communicate online with real time audio video and text chat in dynamic 3d environment so 
this is a definition of interspace next is nodes nodes are sometimes also called as workstations so what is uh, nodes the term nodes refers to the computer that are attached to a network and are seeking to share the second point is nodes sometimes also called as workstation the term nodes refers to the computers that are attached to a network and are seeking to share the resources of the network so computers that are connected or that are part of a computer network are also called as nodes or sometimes called as workstations so next definition is uh, next important point is backbone a backbone is a central interconnecting structure that connects two or more networks just like the trunk of a tree or spine of a human being so backbone is basically a central interconnecting structure and that connect two or more networks next is server a server is a computer that facilitate the sharing of data software and hardware resources that is printer modems etc on the network so server is a computer and it facilitates the sharing of data, software and hardware resources. Next is a server can be of two types. First of all non-dedicated server and second one is dedicated server. So non-dedicated servers are not completely dedicated to cause of serving. Such server can facilitate the resource sharing among workstations on a proportionality smaller scale and the small networks using such servers are known as peer to peer network so non dedicated servers as the name suggests non dedicated servers means they are not dedicated to serve uh, as a server and these are work as a resource sharing and um, among work different workstations and the small network using such server are known as peer-to-peer -peer networks so network using this type of server non dedicating servers are also called as peer-to-peer -peer networks second is dedicated server in dedicated server system one system is reserved for server's job and it works on the principle of master-slave relationship so there is a master-slave relationship server act as a master and uh, rest computers that is uh, also called as uh, nodes or work as a slave so master slave relationship we follow by dedicated server and is used as in large network systems so in large network system dedicated server are used so there are two different types of server non dedicated and dedicated dedicated server work as a uh, on the principle of master slave relationship while non dedicated server work as a, a resource sharing among different workstation or nodes so these are the two different types of servers and one important thing all one important thing regarding to non dedicated server is uh, non dedicated server basically apply in peer to peer network next is nic nic is also called as network interface card so a network interface card is also known as NIC it is an interpreter that help establish communication between the server and the workstations any computer which has to be a part of computer network must have a NIC installed in it NIC is a networking device networking device is uh, the, um, will be discussed in our next lecture but here there is a little bit introduction about NIC NIC basically refers for network interface card and the network interface card is a part of computer uh, network computer network workstation system or sometimes called as workstation nodes so each and every node connected to a network must have network interface card in it Without NIC network interface card, networking is not possible. Next important thing is uh, MAC address and IP address. So the question is how we can identify computer 
and users over a network so we can identify computers and users over a network using network address and network address are basically are of two type mac address and second is ip address full form of mac address is media access control address media access control address so the nic manufacturer assign a unique physical address to each nic card and this physical address is known as mac address so each nic as i told you that nic is a important networking devices used in computer networking nodes must have nic card without nic card data cannot be share from one computer to another using computer network and nic manufacturer companies assign a unique address that is also called as mac address media access control address and this is a physical address and it, it is a unique address assigned to each nic card so there is an example of nic card here this is a example of nic card here the prefix 00A0C9 indicates that the manufacturer is, is Intel Corporation. So, first part basically, this first part of MIC represent the description of manufacturer, and in this case, manufacturer is Intel. And the last three numbers 14C835 are given by the manufacturer that is given by intel in this case to this nic and that is this is unique this is unique so this is a mic address mac sorry mac address so first part basically define the gives us detail about the manufacturer and last three digit shows the unique address of nic network interface card so this is mac address media access control address most important thing is that it is a physical address and uh, this address is uh, a part of every nic card uh, and provided by hardware manufacturer and uh, first half represent the information about uh, information about manufacturer and uh, second part represent second half represent the information of uh, NIC and it is a unique number given by the manufacturer in this case manufacturer is intel next address is ip address uh, so each machine is a network has another unique identification at number it is also a unique number but first one is physical address and second ip address is basically a logical address and called as ip address so an ip address is a group of four bytes actually is a four bytes means 32 bit each of which can be a number from 0 to 255 and a typical ip address look like this this is an IP address so it is a combination of four bytes or 32 bits number starts from 0 to 255 on a network IP address of a machine is used to identify it MAC address is used only when a specific machine is to be targeted for example suppose we want to block a specific PC to access some network resources if we use the PC's IP address, then the PC is not blocked permanently as its IP address may change when it connects to the network next time. Instead, we use the PC's MAC address for this purpose. So, there are three important points. First of all, IP address is a logical address. Second thing, it is a unique address third important point regarding to ip address it is a address of 4 byte means 32 bit and this address is provided by um, service provider network service and in internet service provider isp so if you want to block a computer so com if you want to completely block a computer in a network 
then it is possible to blow uh, only using MAC address if you use IP address to block a particular computer uh, or a particular computer in a computer network system then it uh, basically block for a certain period of time and uh, when IP address change then uh, next time next time computer system can use different resources to, to block permanent computer system in a computer network we use MAC address so MAC address is a physical address MAC address cannot be changed but IP address can be changed so this is a, another important point regarding to MAC address and IP address so now we can easily compare our, between MAC address and IP address MAC address is media access control address and IP address internet protocol address and uh, MAC address is a physical address it is a essential part of all NIC network interface card and which is a network devices held by different computer workstations in a computer network and IP address is also a unique address but uh, this can be changed and uh, this is a address of 32 bit means 4 byte and uh, it is a logical address so that is the difference between IP address and logical address. Now, uh, using MAC address and IP address, we can easily identify computers and users over the internet. And if you want to block a computer permanently, you can use MAC address. Next is uh, IP address versus MAC address. There is a comparison between MAC address and IP address. So the IP address is assigned by the network administrator. So there is a comparison between IP address and MAC address. The IP address is assigned by the network administrator or the internet service provider. So IP address can be provided by network administrator or internet service provider while the MAC address is assigned by the manufacturer. And uh, this is a very important point. Second important point uh, is that I, if a computer is transferred from one network to another, its IP address get changed whereas the MAC address remains the same so that is another important point so these two points are very important as far as difference is concerned MAC address is media access control and I address and IP address is internet protocol address so IP address can be changed but in menu MSC address cannot be changed MAC address cannot be changed uh, during life during, uh, during its life of NIC card and NIC card basically um, is a network interface card is a part of all computer system or nodes or workstation of a um, computer network and uh, second important thing is that MAC address as I told you is a physical address while IP address is a logical address when we say that it is a logical address it means that it can be changed and what physical address cannot be changed and physical address is provided by uh, its manufacturer manufacturer of NIC card but IP address can be provided by internet service provider such as Airtel, Geo, Vodafone and our network administrator so when we actually uh, change computer network or a computer is transferred from one network to another so its uh, IP address also changed but MAC, MAC address can never be changed if we change computer network so that is a, another difference between IP address and MAC address. Now I think um, difference between IP address and MAC address is quite clear to all of you. So now let us take a quick revision of all these points which we learned in this lecture. First of all computer network. So what is computer network? Computer network is a collection of interconnected computers. And what is the meaning of interconnected computer? The collection of interconnected computer is also called as computer network. And two computers are said to be interconnected if they are capable of sharing and exchanging information. And one important thing is that computer network is a collection of interconnected computer and other devices. Other devices means, print, uh, for example, printer, uh, which are able to communicate with each other. So this is an example of... Uh, 
So this is an example of a computer network system. In this, we can easily see that in this, these are the four computers, and this is another computer, and these two computers are also interconnected to each other. And all these computers are connected to a server, and there is a printer also. Printer is also connected to a server. So that is an example of computer network. Uses of networking, resource sharing, reliability, cost factor, and communication medium. And as far as advantage are concerned, resource sharing, cost saving, collaborative user interaction, time saving, increased storage. Next is evolution of networking in 1969, ARPANET after that NSFNet. ARPANET uh, is the first network which came into existence, so it is a very important question regarding to competitive examination and MAMA question. Full form is um, also full form can full form can also be asked in examination. So ARPANET stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. And in 1990, the inter uh, networking of Hoponet, NSFNet, and other private networks resulted into internet. Some important term: internet is a network of networks. Interspace is a kind of server software which allows multiple users to communicate online. Nodes or workstations are um, computers attached to a network. Backbone is a central interconnecting structure that connects two or more networks. Server is uh, basically a computer, uh, facilitate the sharing of data, software and hardware. Server can be categorized into two different categories, non-dedicated server and dedicated server. As the name suggests, non-dedicated server. So non-dedicated servers are not completely dedicated to cause of serving. That's why it is called non-dedicating server. And uh, small network using such servers known as peer-to-peer -peer network. And dedicated server system, one system is up for server job and it works on principles of master-slave relationship. So dedicated, dedicated server works on the principle of master-slave relationship. And uh, non-dedicated server basically use as a service, fat, uh, service facilitator only, facilitator, to, uh, facilitator of resource sharing only. Then NIC card, NIC card is a network interface card and uh, this card is a part of each and every node connected to a computer system. Address contained by NIC card is MAC address and it is a unique address. First part define the information of a manufacturer and second part a unique address given by manufacturer. And it is a physical ad address, it cannot be changed. Second is IP address. IP address is a logical address, and IP address is basically provided by internet service provider or network administrator. And IP address can also be changed. And uh, when we change a network and we actually change a computer system from one network to another, then IP address can also be changed. But uh, during this time MAC address cannot be changed. So MAC address is a permanent address of a computer system and IP address can also be changed uh, um, different in different networks when we use different networks. So this is all about computer network part one. These are some important terminology regarding to computer network. I hope uh, you understand all these terms and uh, write down the main points regarding to computer network from beginning definition of computer network after that uh, its advantage and uh, uses of networking and after that arpanet definition and full form of arpanet and year 1969 it is a good question for your general knowledge also and uh, after that, uh, some important term, interspace is an important term. It is client server software which allows multiple users to communicate in 3D environment. And uh, users can communicate online using audio, video or text chat. 
node of orchestrations or the computer systems connected so this is another important then server types of server are also very important or um, non-dedicated and dedicated server then nic card nic can be discussed in our next lecture also so in our next lecture we discuss uh, about uh, different network devices and then mac address and ip address always remember the difference between mac address and ip address and one important difference is that mac address is a physical address provided by manufacturer of nic and uh, ip address is a logical ad address provided by internet service provider or by com computer administrator network computer network administrator so these are the two important points regarding to ip address and mac address